the pressure, the atmospheric pressure at sea level is 1.05465. I'm on Bill, I'm on my way. Square centimeters, the pressure of given mass, I guess, but a constant temperature is inversely... But surely there's a cutout to prevent just that. There's an override too, sir. Cuts out the cutout, you might say. What, like screwing down a safety valve? Yes, sir. You, Professor Wayman? I'm afraid so. Why? I wanted to observe some novae of minimal magnitude at 3,000 light years distance. Obviously, the signals were bound to be extremely weak, so I operated the override to make sure the computer would receive the best echoes possible. And then you switch back. Region H2. Omega, to be exact. Forgetting the cutout. Well, I must have. I thought I'd engaged it. Obviously, I hadn't. Can you repair it? It'll take time, sir. The quantum amplifier's shot. It'll be quicker to order one up on the next shuttle. I shall need a written report, Kate. Don't take it to heart, Professor. I know how much that piece of equipment means up here. Take like that. It's not Kate. In the past month, too many little things are going wrong. There bound to be some accidents. That's inevitable. But we must try to minimize them. Of course. There's an obvious remedy. Which is? Tighten up the discipline, enforce the regulations, impose more penalties. You can't treat scientists of this caliber like a bunch of schoolchildren. That is exactly how you must behave no, towards them. No, 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 no. You treat them like adults, they'll respond like adults. But you're right about one thing. These accidents must stop. Okay. Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Well, take it easy. I'll be right now. 
Which way? Just follow the yellow brick road. What is it? Both cylinders full. I remember distinctly. You must have misread the gauge. No, no. I don't see how I could have. Listen, I hope I should save your breath. It's quite a walk back to the buggy. Yes. Yes. You're lucky to be alive. I know, sir. If Adam hadn't been there, I... What I want to know is, how did it happen? You're supposed to be an experienced lunar scientist. What about your oxygen supply check? As far as I remember, I checked the liquid oxygen levels before I suited up. And the feeder valves checked out nominal on the monitor console. As far as you remember. So you could have forgotten to check. You know how it is. After a while, the whole routine gets to be automatic. You do it without thinking. But you better think in future. This is not something you can be vague about. It literally is a matter of life and death. Well, perhaps it's because I've got other things on my mind. Like what? Earth. Life back home. Oh, we all get homesick. It's not that, sir. I want to get out. Of the entire space program? As far as being on the moon's concerned. But it's part of your contract to serve up here. All right, let's call it quits. Well, it's a bit drastic, isn't it? I don't rate it much of a life anymore. Now, wait a minute, Bill. Look, if you're punching up my history, there's no need, I'll tell you. Honours degree in astrophysics in 96, University of Southampton. Do you know what else your readout says? Vaguely. Specifically. Knight applies such originality of thought to any given problem that one comes to the conclusion he must be considered among future leading authorities in his field. It's gone sour. Have you talked to Dr. Smith? Oh, nothing to say. Other than, please, doctor, I want to go home. It can't be much fun for Dodie up there. You're worried about your wife? Yes. Though isn't every man here worried about his wife? May I ask you a personal question? I don't guarantee you'll get an answer. Are you suggesting that uh, your wife is being unfaithful to you? If not already, she damn soon will be. From what evidence? Oh, it stands to reason. I've been too smug. The dedicated little scientist working for the good of mankind and all that. <laughs> well, the hell with it. I'd sooner chuck all this than lose my wife or make another mistake, maybe a fatal one. Talk to Dr. Smith. Look, I've heard all the words I need, believe me. Adam brought me up short. Adam? What did you say to Bill Knight? Next time, double-check your oxygen Not supply. Not about that. His wife. She's a dish. That's what you said. When I saw the photograph. Have you seen her? Did you say anything else? Well, I do seem to recall something about his being out of his tiny mind, messing about with microwaves up here, yes. It'll take time to find a replacement for Knight. Preferable to him dead or looking for another wife, isn't it? What makes you so sure the marriage is in danger? Oh, I think you and I better change places. How long has Bill been here? Eighteen months, a three one-month leave period. And how long has the lad been married? About two years. Twenty-three months, fifteen of which have been spent apart. Human beings are just. Or make alternative arrangements. So, Bill goes then, leaving you and Professor Wayman with your radio astronomy project, Cora. Can you cope? Till they find a replacement. Kate's a bright lady, unflappable. And dedicated. Oh, aren't we all? How's your idiopathic... Idiopathic, paroxysmal, atrial fibrillation, oh, ever with me. <laughs> <laughs> it has been known to go away of its own accord. Let me tell you something, my love. My heart is perfectly sound. It always has been. From time to time, it has an irregular beat. Slows down, speeds up, who's doesn't? But yours for no apparent reason. Ah, didn't stop me from becoming an astronaut. Earth orbital, moon-based. Doesn't affect my performance. <laughs> the only way I know that the damn thing is around is by taking my pulse. So why did it abort my chance of going on the Venus probe? It's a somewhat longer trip than coming up here. Isn't it feasible that in a five-man crew anyone's heart could go? But the computer said odds on it would be yours. You lay my hands on that computer, I'd scramble his output. <laughs> You don't resent being dropped from the team. Well, naturally, I was angry and disappointed. You train like mad for a special mission only to be chucked out at the final moment. And the quacks did know about this all the time. I think it was unfair. Oh, well, that's the way the orbit goes, from apogee 
to perigee. And back to apogee again. Did you find out what Adam said to Bill Knight? It was a typically male remark about Dodie's desirability. Bill took it to heart. How long to mend the ready telescope? Well, it needs a new quantum amplifier. Why? If there were to be a delay, it'd be an idea to send Bill home for a few days. I'll look into it this afternoon. There is a tug tonight. Yes? Communication centre, sir. Director General on Channel 73, on Scrambler. Thank you. I'll go. No, wait. Well, Scrambler's been confidential. Stay, stay. Good morning, David. Well, good morning, sir. Are you done? Dr. Smith with me. Ah, oh, good. How are you, Helen? Very well, thank you, sir. Glad you're there. This also concerns you. Uh, something wrong? The estimates for the next three years' programs have been referred back. What, again? Blame the Venus probe. Three times the estimated cost. Oh. Senior Lechia had a field day in the council. He would. If that spacecraft could have been brought back, he'd have done it. But that money's been spent. It's on its way. The economies take place elsewhere, like here. Every single euro-dollar must be value for money. Every single euro-dollar is. If I am to outwit Lekia and company, you've got to prove that. How are the current projects going? Well, there's Cora, Blaney's astrophysics project, and Conway's doing very well on his study of foamed metal. Svensson's halfway through his observation program on the Crab Nebula. What about that fellow Partness and his new fuel? Oh, promising. Very promising, but... I'm afraid he's going to need a more efficient extraction plant. So the only money-making project you've got is asking for more money. Now look here, David, I need results and they better be good. Helen, how's morale? Uh, very good. It'll stand up to a period of intense activity? Yes. Good. Now then, David, I'm about to push you. All current projects must be completed according to schedule, if not ahead of it, and must be brought in under budget. Under budget? Well, the more we keep in the kitty, the better. Sorry about this, David, but I know you appreciate the situation. Keep me informed, won't you? Goodbye. If we're to stay in the space business, let's do it properly or not at all. Results, what with? A few cosmic rays, satellite weather stations, a couple of subsurface excavations. It's the Russians and the Americans who put on the spectaculars up here because they've got viable appropriations. Not staggering around from day to day, hand to mouth. Anyway, um, thanks for the backup. Morale, very good. So it is, basically. Michelle's been having a go at me. Why? Well, she's not happy with my methods of administration. Says the discipline is lax. What do you think? I think he's talking nonsense. Seriously? Seriously. Uh, why did I ever let them talk me into this job? Are you, um, asking me professionally or personally? Rhetorically. <laughs> you see, the money is squeezed we can cope with, but forcing the pace in research is a contradiction in terms. That's when mistakes are made. We all make them, Kate, forget it. It's holding up the entire project. Well, with Bill on his way home, we hadn't much of a project left anyway. Ah, you should have seen the stuff I wrote off during the training for Venus Pro. Look where it landed you. That wasn't that. Heart. Your reports were ignored. What reports? What about the accidents? Well, I never filed any. Calder isn't asking. Oh, what's the matter with the man? Well, not even one. Well, I told you before. And no action was taken. Well, of course, the training director chewed my head off, but... But nothing official? <laughs> my report's due on Calder's desk this evening. Say the switch was defective. Well, he knows that isn't true. So? He can't pass on a report he knows to be false. Well, it depends where his loyalties lie, doesn't it? With them or us. Oh, no, Adam, you're wrong. Now, look, Kate, love. Be realistic. You file a report saying you forgot to flick the switch, it'll go into big brain up there and the next time a plum job comes up. What would your readout say? A human error on moon base which cost the radio astronomy project 20 trillion gelotis. Kaput. Knowing the Director General, it was an understatement, Tom. Well, I'll uh, do all I can, David. 
Uh, the top priority is getting that radio telescope back into service. Well, obviously a replacement quantum amplifier is out of the question, isn't it? But I'm told it can be repaired. Well, yeah, with a bit of thieving from other spares, but it'll take time. We don't have time. There are only two mechanics technically qualified to do the job. How long? Best part of six days. Look, it's difficult, delicate work. They've got to have proper rest periods. Twelve hours on, twelve off. It's too long. A to be the top. But if there were three of you working on it, Tom. All right. Around the clock. We'll trim a day. Thank you, Tom. I presume that during the emergency, normal athlete periods will be cancelled. How many do you? The 14. Uh, cancel or leave until we know where we stand. Oh, and in the case of Bill Knight? Well, no question. He stays on. One thing's certain, Doctor. I'm going on that shuttle tonight. If you're set on it. I am. Then there's little I can say. Seems a pity. What? Putting my marriage before Moonbase? Destroying the person Dodie loves. No, more to the point. Saving the person I love. No, Bill. The man Dodie married is a brilliant scientist. Oh, I know what you're about to say. Chucking away a fantastic future, whiz kid of space, etc., etc. Don't be so egotistical. I was talking about Dodie, not you. She has pride in your work. He doesn't like being separated from you any more than you do from her. But she's prepared to put up with it because she understands the importance for both your futures. Considering you've never met Dodie, how would you know? I know you. I'll say one thing for you, Doctor. You can talk. That is also part of my job. Well, I've had my say. Now let Dodie have hers. How do you mean? I'll have communications locate her and set up a top priority call. You tell her what you're about to do. And if Dodie doesn't agree literally word for word everything I've just said, then I guarantee you'll be on that shuttle tonight. And if she does? Oh, stop paying attention to everything Adam says. Start on it right away, will you, Jane? Right, Tom. Where? Yeah, I agree. It's a bit of a mess. Imagine if she'd been on audio. Would have blown her eardrums to shreds and scrambled her brains. I just can't believe Kate would make a mistake like that. No, this time come to us all, Tom. The edge starts to go. Age creeps Oh, oh come up. on. She's not that old, is she? Well, it depends. Depends on what? All sorts of things. Attitude towards one's work, for example. Or Kate's dedicated to hers. Right. When something like this happens, you start correlating failing intellect with compulsive self-justification. Do you know what I mean? What, you mean the more you're losing your grip, the more you tend to hock the show? Well, you could put it that way. Have you mentioned this to Helen during one of your chats? Look, Helen doesn't need my half-baked ideas on psychiatric problems. Besides, telling tales on a lady isn't galant. Well, you can put up with it if you like. But Kate had better not try throwing her weight around with me, that's all. Well, the unit's being repaired. She's much more sense than that, Tom. I carried out the normal switching operations to reset the instrument for stronger signal reception. However, due to a defective switch, the cutout failed to operate and a power surge destroyed the... Channel 38. Your circuit is FD9. Thanks, Lisa. Are you all right, darling? Yes, I am, Dodie. Not ill or something? You look all right. I had a scrape. It was my own fault. What happened? That's not important now. I wanted to talk to you. The police scooped me up from work. I was in a panic. Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Is there something special you wanted to talk about? Yes. Quit it. What? Up here, coming back home. I don't understand. I want to be with you. Well, I want to be with you as well, Bill. But what about your work? I can get another job. But you're more than halfway through your tour. It still leaves 18 months to go. But, but there'll be three leave periods. With five months between each one. You're so busy. The time will fly. What about you? Don't worry. I'm fine. You don't want me to come home. I do, darling. You know that. Well, I can leave tonight. No, Bill, no. Why not? Well, I'd hate it if you did something drastic and regretted it later. Let it ride until your next leave. It's only two months. We'll discuss it then. Will you do that, please? Do you still love me? After what I've just said. 
<laughs> Silly question. Bill get his leave through all right? Bill Knight is not leaving. Changed his mind? And he can't be released. Not now. Sir Cold is finally cracking the whip. Uh, is there another phase you can move into while the telescope is being repaired? Well, one of us could go out to Subbase Delta, spend a few days. There's an arrow beam scanner out there. We'd pick up something, but be degraded data. It'd keep us going. The thing is... Well? Which one? I'll leave that choice to you, Adam. Mon cher Michel, c'est pas si facile. Professor Wayman's out. I couldn't trust her. I couldn't know what she'd break next. Bill, then. Oh, he's up in knots about his wife. Well, you go. Leaving them here to hold each other's hand. <laughs> That'd bring the entire place to a shuddering standstill, which is not what you're after. Well, do the best you can. We're all on the fire. Oh, that's predictable enough. You know why? No discipline. Training for the Venus probe was cast iron, which the old man could ease up on, and we'd say how great it was. Calder's got it the wrong way round. He started too free and easy, and now he's trying to put the screws on. All he'll get is resentment, am I right? Perhaps. There you are. That's our problem. The wrong man at the top. Now, Dr. Calder is a very clever man. Well, he's a first-class research scientist, I'm sure. As an administrator? Well, which one of you is it to be? to go out to sub base Delta. Well, Bill, maybe Helen can get him in the right frame of mind. Dodie and I will talk about it on my next leave. Are you happy with that? No. I suppose I have to go along with it. The time will pass quickly enough. There's a panic on. Oh? Huh? Budget problems in Brussels, and we're taking the brunt. Dr. Calder will be very pleased to decide to stay. Why? Adam and Kate could cope with our project? We need everybody. Here's my report on the radio telescope. Uh, thank you, Kate. And this is my resignation. Oh, Kate, no. I insist. But there's no call for it. I think otherwise, Dr. Calder. I'm sorry, but at this juncture, I cannot accept your resignation. Well, it'll lie there until your current project, Cora, is finished. That'll be effective from then. We'll see, Kate. So far, it's been a perfect ride. Touch wood. <laughs> We've settled into our routines, already run some preliminary tests on the equipment for the probe. All I can say is everything is nominal. We're on our way. You certainly are. Everything's nominal this end. The capsule's in great shape, and the flight surgeon says you should all be enjoying yourselves. Sure we are. Do you mind tell the flight director the schedule's pretty full? That's what you're there for. Why don't you get some sleep, and we'll call you in ten hours from now. Okay, Control. Good night down there. Drink? Vodka and lime, please. Vodka and lime. Vodka and lime. They're really pulling out all the stops. Oh, with the money first, they've got you. Hurt? You asked me that before. No, not anymore. Just odd. In what way? I kept half expecting to see myself up there. I, I know that craft inside out and the drills and routines. Trained as a team for months. They should have let you go. Oh, another time, perhaps. And why are you here? Earning my living. Chatting us up. <laughs> No other reason? <laughs> well, should there be? It is a respectable profession. And behavioral studies in an alien environment are particularly fascinating. <laughs> Why? On Earth, if you're wound up, you can take a walk, get rid of the problem, let off steam. Not here. You're trapped. The pressures build up. And you're our safety valve? Not really. More a sounding board. Helping the individual adapt to his situation. Ah, yes. Your thesis. Human beings are just. One question, though. Yes? Who do you unburden to? Or aren't you supposed to have problems? Oh, I've been trained to overcome them. Or so I've been told. Even the emotional ones? None of us are perfect, Adam. Huh. 
You've got such an unfair advantage. Over who? Me. How? The computer. It can tell you everything about me. Oh. Essential statistics, background, career, education. Much more. People's opinions, for a start. I ignore that part of the readout. Making one's own judgments is much more fun. Hmm. Even so, I'm not in the position to push the button on Helen Smith. Consider it pushed. Background and education, I can guess. Career progression? Well, you're here, that's all I'm interested in, but... Uh... Have you ever been married? I've thought about it a couple of times. Seriously? Enough. What went wrong? In the first instance, I didn't love him enough, and in the second, vice versa. Last love? But one. So I am not hiding on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Oh, those imperfections I'd sooner find out for myself. As I said, that way is much more fun. Uh, Bill Knight is going out to Delta on this shift. Anyone going with him? Adam Blenny. What's the repair state on the damaged telescope? It's in hand. Well, Tom's doing his best. You can be certain of that. Come in. Morning. Ah, Helen. Bonjour, mon brave. Morning. <laughs> Take a look at these. Kate's report and resignation. Talk her out of it. It'll take Bill and me a couple of hours to get there. Give you a chance to make a few preliminary checks. All right, Adam. Once we are there, we'll call you up and start the instrument synchronization tests. Mm -hmm. I'll call you later. Enjoy the drive. Oh, and chase Tom Hill up on those repairs, won't you? I will. Hey, hey. we must stop meeting like this. <laughs> Adam, he just left. He's going out to Delta. No, I met him in the corridor. It was you I came to see, Kate. Can we, um, talk about these? Well, I'm busy just now. Later, if you like. Any time that suits you. All right. But I thought they were both fairly explicit. I'll be in my office. Oxygen supply, Billy boy. Too right. Both tanks full. Pressurization activated. Vehicle pressurized. Boy, souped up and ready to roll. You're in a good mood. Prospect of the wide open spaces. 
Did you check the food supply, Delta? No problem. I was told there's enough for a couple of weeks. Ah, I envy you. Time on your own. Think things through. <sighs> Let's get moving. lying, saying the switch was defective. Why didn't you? Dr. Calder already knew the truth. Would you have lied if he hadn't have known? Possibly, I don't know. What gave you the idea to lie? An admission that it was my fault would go on my records. And Adam said he never had to file a report on the equipment he broke during training for the Venus probe. Adam said that? He thought it unfair that I had to. And do you agree with him? Well, yes, I do, don't you? No. These reports aren't reflected in your records unless there are lots of them indicating carelessness. They're studied for design faults or faulty procedures. Their main function is to make us and the equipment we use more efficient. For instance, here, the mistake. You say you thought you operated the switch. Was there one nearby you could have confused with the cutout? The procedure's straightforward. And you were concentrating? Yes. So there was no reason for you to think you hadn't switched over? Well, none. So when I came back from coffee, I started work and wrecked it. You don't mention anything about coffee. Well, it was only a few minutes. Who else was around? Jane, of course, Bill Knight and Adam, oh, and Tom, naturally. You're not suggesting... Anything. I just want to know who else was around. Yes? Have Bill and Adam left yet? Yes, they have. Why? Hello? Further. Coming up to midpoint. I've always thought they should build a bar here. Halfway house. With a disco and plenty of girls. All very well for you bachelors. Thanks. How come you never got married? Would you believe me if I told you I was too wrapped up with this rubbish? Well, space. I wanted to be out there in the deep, deep night with no family hang-ups. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? It was a tough break, huh? No, oh, weep not for me, old sport. I've had a lot of fun staying unmarried. I feel for chaps like you with commitments back on Earth. You find yourself working for an organization that doesn't give a damn about your personal difficulties. Moonbase 3, Moonbase 3, this is Buggy 2, over. Copy, Buggy 2, this is Moonbase, over. Moonbase, route check. Coming up to midpoint, all systems nominal. Continuing, out. Copy, Buggy 2. Any problems? Oh, nothing, why? Just checking. Moonbase, out. A little bit jumpy, aren't they? Sabotage! Or a mistake. Either is possible. Well, which is more probable? It's a mistake, I hope. What, by the meticulous, painstaking Kate? It can happen. All right, sabotage. Either Blaney or Knight. Which one? Adam had no reason. Neither had Bill. He wanted to go home. He wanted to resign. Precisely. He knew we'd be opposed to it. You, me, his wife. If he were desperate enough for a few days at home, it's conceivable he might have done it. But it didn't work. He had to accept we had an emergency on our hands. Which he's done with remarkably good grace, if those are the lengths he went to. I was only posing a hypothesis. Oh, some hypothesis, sabotage. Moon Base 3 is a living organism, just like the human body. And deliberate sabotage, like cutting the jugular vein. Here are the submodule coordinates, Kate. 7, 6, 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 9, 2, 1, Gamma. You got that? Mm-hmm. Are they active now? Yes, they are, Bill. Right. That wraps up the preliminary test. Then. Kate, uh, how are those repairs coming on? Oh, I don't know. I'll have a word with Tom. 
Good girl. I'll call you later. Right. Make sure I have a copy of those coordinates. Yes, Kate's probably got them all wrong. Give yourself the first shift to settle in, then we'll call you up and start work. Fine, Adam. You know something? I've always imagined I was a stoic. Take it as it comes. The likes of you I've never met. I don't understand. Well, you were resigning, along came the panic. Your quitting gets the chop and you take it as calmly as this. No, you've got your wires crossed, Adam. I spoke to my wife yesterday afternoon. We agreed I'd stay on to my next leave. That's odd. Michelle told me you were leaving. I was surprised you changed your mind. You said it wasn't that that called or had blocked all departures. When did Michelle say that to you? Well, it must have been during the afternoon. The brass had a meeting after the director general phoned from Brussels, uh, lunchtime thereabouts. Apparently called and said then you wouldn't be leaving. Well, I don't get it, Adam. What was my chat with Dr. Smith about? For that matter, her letting me talk to Dodie if it was already decided. Well, I suppose it's better all round if a man thinks he's made the tough decision himself. I've got a roll. I'll talk to you in about ten hours. Yes. Take it easy. Tom. Oh, hello, Professor. Can I help you? I wondered how the repairs were coming along. We're making progress. We'll be back to you in uh, five or six days. Adam knows that already. Finish. Do you like a drink when it's done? Yes. Well, make yourself comfortable. I won't be long. Uh. How was the drive? Oh, routine. The terrain doesn't offer much variety. Yeah, it's not the sort of place I'd choose for a holiday. Trees. Hmm? I said trees. Oh. Have you ever been to Norway? No. That's where all my worldly possessions are. Which consist of? Oh, a couple of acres of land. Pine forest and a lake frontage with a log cabin. It's near a town called Bowell. In the summer, it's fishing and loafing around. In the winter, ski trailing. Sounds marvellous. I'll take you there if you like. State your preference. Well, summer, I think. My skiing isn't too good, but my loafing is. <laughs> You're on. I think I'll have that drink now. Good. I was uh, serious about Norway. I never thought you weren't. Workshop routines, Tom? No problems, David. The maintenance schedules are being held to. And the repairs? Yeah, we're getting there. But keep that woman out of my way, will you? Hmm? Kate? Just warn her off. She'll get a telescope on time. Oh, but it's only natural she should be interested. Look, she's empire building. Adam was right. She's losing her grip, so she's hogging the scene. Be reasonable, <laughs> Tom. I mean, one mistake isn't losing your grip. No, Tom has a point. Scientists must not be allowed to interfere as they please. It's a matter of discipline. For instance, Adam told me during training for the Venus probe there was... Yes? Sorry to butt in, Dr. Calder. We're having trouble at Subbase Delta. Knight's behaving strangely. Would you stop by? Be right over. Calm down, Billy boy. Calm down. No, I've been thinking about it, Adam, and they can go to hell. I want guarantees, and I'd better get them. Calder's on his way. Flipped. What's Here, happened? Talk to him. Bill, what's the trouble? You, for one. Well, I said you could talk, and I was right. Get Dodie on the line. We can have another cosy little chat lying to each other. Hello, uh, uh, Bill. Now, listen. I am going home on the next tug. Now, you agree to it as Adam is my witness, or, or I will wreck every last piece of equipment out here. Have you got that? All right, Bill. You go home, I promise. Now, you heard that, Adam. You heard it. I heard. Now, calm down. I'll come out and fetch you, okay? All right, Adam. Ah, he switched off. You've got to try and stop him, Adam. I better come with if you. If he starts smashing up that base, it could set our work back a year. I will 
contact personnel will get them to send up a replacement as soon as possible. Oh, and it might be wise to replace Professor Wayman at the same time. Why all this fuss about Kate? There's nothing wrong with Kate. Adam tells me he's lost confidence in her ability to work alone. Adam and Bill, Adam and Kate, Adam and Tom, Adam and Helen, and now Adam and you. Gets around our Adam. You haven't slept a wink since I left, have you? No, I couldn't. Better get a couple of hours before we drive back. There's a medical cabinet in main control. Should have second or... Why did you bring her? Well, I had to. Where the wind up them, Billy boy. I am going home. You have my word for it. You're the only one I trust. Now try and relax. We'll wake you when it's time to go. Now, if what you say is true, why is he so disruptive? I don't know. Well, how is it that our resident psychiatrist hasn't noticed the pattern? Ah. There, I'm prepared to hazard a guess. She's becoming involved with him. She's what? You hadn't noticed? Aren't you concerned for her? There's an old English proverb that ends, three's a crowd. Of course I'm concerned. Everything's fine, Tom. I'm switching off now. Call you later. Okay, Adam. He's asleep. Any damage? Oh, no, it was an empty threat. I think he could have been responsible for damage to the radio telescope. Oh, my darling, Billy Boy couldn't throw a stone even if he tried. Life is much more simple than you psychiatrists would have us believe. Look, why do people behave the way they do? Billy, because he's in love with his wife. Kate? Well, Kate, it's strange, but... Kate, it's age, and me? Ah, well, me? Because I'm crazy for you. <laughs> Ah, 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 this is Norway, yes. Ah, Norway is a state of mind. Here, take a deep breath. Smell those pines. That's cool, clear air in your lungs. Mm. And through there, log cabin aptly called the recreation room. Come on, let's go. <laughs> no, Adam, Come no. On, it's out like a lion. No, I said no, and no, I meant don't no. Don't fool around with me. Helen. I'm not. Well, you're serious? Yes. I don't get it. Don't you, Adam? Well, why did you come out here with me? Because of Bill. Oh, oh, like hell, you couldn't get I'd better come with you out quick enough. You wanted to be with me, true. Partly so, yes. Well, the part that concerns Bill is taken care of. Let's get on with the rest. No, Adam. Yes. No! Well, it's not that easy. <laughs> reason to believe you gave me every reason. And yet now you, you do this. Close. You do this to me. You do this. I am perfectly all right. Why shouldn't I be? I'll drive. Take it easy. It's a long way down. Okay, Betty boy. I know what I'm doing. Adam, are you sure you're all right? Never felt better. Why, what's wrong? Ah, silly heart of mine was playing up back there. Well, stop. I'll drive. No, it's fine now.
Look, it's really hot, Adam. Can you turn the heat down a touch? Sure. Adam, be careful! <laughs> Damn near killed us. Oh. Thank God the pressure hull's not damaged. Radio still working. I'll call for help. Yeah? Well, David, a message from Buggy 2. They've had some sort of accident on the way back. What's happened? Well, nobody's hurt, but they're stranded. I'm going to pick them up now. Quick as you can, eh, Tom? Don't worry, I'm on my way. She can tell you. She knows. Nobody's perfect. We've all got our Achilles heel, every last one of us. With you, Billy Boy, it's your wife and your love for her. Kate, it's a combination of age and reputation. <coughs> a quiet desperation. Lebrun, and start on him about discipline and personal ambition and he'll follow you anywhere. Interference is what Tom Hill can't stand, real or imagined. Even you, you're not... Invincible. No. Neither's Calder. He's vulnerable because he cares too much about the people around him. Once one's aware that one can fight it, guard against it. You can. He can, but I can't. I can't fight, not anymore. There's no way. No way. Get your hats on, Buggy too. We can see you now. With you in just a moment. Soon have you out of there. It was a deliberate, a subconscious attempt to kill me. And taking himself and Bill Knight with you. At the moment, that didn't matter. I had to die. Because you'd rejected him. Oh, I'm not so egotistical, David. Because he'd been rejected for the Venus probe. He wasn't talking to me back there. He was back baiting that final board. And his subconscious couldn't bear anyone else knowing that. Until it drove him to the brink of murder, at that he broke. Uh, the accidents. Bill's oxygen supply and Kate's radio telescope. Was he responsible for them? Almost certainly. Though he probably doesn't realize it. Just as he isn't aware that he played on people's weaknesses because he wanted to break them. Mm. And I've warned Earth. They know I'm sending him back. The treatment will take a long time. What about Cora? The project will have to wait. Bill and Kate need a break. I'm giving them some leave. Adam said you care too much about people. Did he? The Director General won't be pleased with the delay. I should worry. He's not my Achilles heel. <laughs> 